Stan Jabalisco here. I just received an email. Uh, I don't know how he got it, whether it was through a video or through my website or, or just happened to decide he would ask me thinking I know everything. And I happened to, I got very lucky. It has to do with a Radio Shack, remember old Radio Shack, audio transformer. The part number is 273 dash 1380 273-1380 it is an audio transformer designed for impedance transformation between 1000 ohms and 8 ohms it has a primary it looks like a primary winding of 1000 ohms impedance center tapped there's a blue wire at one end of the winding, a green wire at the other end, and the black wire is the center tap of that 1,000 ohm winding. I guess you can use it either, either as the primary or the secondary. It's up to you. The, the other winding has a, an impedance of 8 ohms. No center tap, a red wire at one end, and a white wire at the other end. The thing is small, it's only about the size of a marble, except of course box shaped, like a little transformer. And I, for some reason, happened to save the back of the package of that particular component when I bought it at Radio Shack years ago. I don't know why I saved it. I guess I thought maybe someday I'd need it. and. And it sure did come in handy here, because this person had uh, no other source of information. He'd searched everywhere for a, uh, apparently not, uh, not an exhaustive search of, uh, of the sort that I know how to do, but, but I got the definitive data directly from the back of the uh, package. So I'm pretty sure that this is correct. So if any of you have one of these old transformers and have lost the data as to which wire goes to what, uh, by the way, it's an audio transformer with the 3 dB down frequency points at 300 hertz and 10 kilohertz. Beyond that, it rolls off. So that's, I guess, what you would consider the passband of this transformer. What you want to use it for is up to you. Uh, but it goes between 1,000 ohms and 8 ohms. It can't handle a lot of power. It's a little thing. But uh, I thought you might like to know that. This guy did, and I have a feeling he's not alone. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.